I'm cautiously hopeful about COP, and we're seeing positive steps from key players like China and the US. But one major red flag I'd raise, one which I think is not at all adequately considered in COP negotiations, is the need to ensure that well-meaning climate action does not inadvertently undermine peace and stability. Adaptation and mitigation programs that don't take account of conflict sensitivity can fuel resentment and undermine resilience. What good is it to plant thousands of trees if newly created forests drive pastoral herders from their traditional lands into conflict with farmers, for example? If climate finance cannot reach those who need it in fragile contexts, it can worsen inequalities within and between groups. Whilst, of course, access and kind of getting aid to these hot conflict areas can be really challenging, pouring funding into stable areas exacerbates inequality of resources. And of course, we know in, in conflict, aid is a major conflict commodity. It's not enough just to focus on the how much, how much financing we need. At the same time, and in the very same breath, we also need to be thinking about where the money's going and how it's going to be used. So COP26 provides a much needed venue to find a shared understanding of these multifaceted risks that climate change poses to peace and to integrate this perspective into climate finance as well as into adaptation and mitigation. Fundamentally, the ambitious multilateral climate action we need to come out of COP26 is about ensuring the continuation of safe and dignified life on our planet. If on the way to achieving this, we undermine peace, we have nonetheless failed future generations. So this consensus has to expand and include a broad coalition across countries and sectors so that the peace perspective is not lost among the urgent need for, for drastically reducing emissions and drastically increasing financing. And through initiatives such as Weathering Risk to support the implementation of things like a UN Security Council resolution on climate security, we actually have a chance to promote peace and security at every step of the way towards climate action.